everyone. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by and I hope that you all are doing well today. Today I'll be showing you a new kit from Jennifer at A Trace of Sparkle. I will leave all her information in my description box so make sure you go check that out. The new kit that the new digital kit that she has in her Etsy right now is called Pearl Elegance and it's exactly what it says, Pearl Elegance. So I'm going to be showing you her new kit in the ephemera. So these are the, the papers and this is the ephemera. And then we're also going to craft together. We're going to make a Pearl Elegance bag for my new um, project I'm working on. I'm going to put a Pearl Elegance journal in here. So um, we'll work on this in just a few minutes. So I want to show you the very first, uh, I'll show you the papers first, but isn't this beautiful? The pearls and the music papers and the white, they're, they're cream and white roses. They're just, they're, they're beautiful. So make sure you, make sure you go check out her new kit. And this is lace. This is the lace paper. This is so pretty. And I love these neutral colors. Uh, the pearls are just to die for. They're beautiful. I just love this kit. I can't wait to um, make some tags. That will be the next video. We're going to make some tags together. Isn't this pretty? You see the pearls in the background? They're so pretty. I love it so much. It's so elegant and just beautiful. Look at that. I love the collaging on this. There's just so many details in this. You can see the pearls and the, the French script, the beautiful roses and the lace. And the scroll, the scroll work and woodwork is so pretty. And then I love this too. This is this is so pretty. The details is just amazing. Look at this. Look at the tatting lace. So pretty. And this is um her favorite. This is Jennifer's favorite lace. And that is her her paper that she makes. I think with tea or coffee dye with a vinyl placemat behind this beautiful lace. This is absolutely just beautiful. So I love, I love, love that the neutral colors in this kit. Now this is the ephemera. So this is the envelope. So you could score it right here or take a ruler or just fold it right here and make your envelope. And I love this card. Isn't that beautiful? And look at the lace bows. <laughs> I love that so much. So I printed all this out on matte photo paper and this is a thin one. It's almost like a paper, but I wanted to show you the difference in just a minute with regular paper and matte photo paper. Aren't these just, just beautiful? So pretty. I love that fan. So lovely ephemera to play with. I love these frames. So fun. The detail and the pink. I love that pink. It's just, just a touch of pink in this frame. So pretty. And I love the French script right there. Maybe I'll try and say that in the next video. <laughs> I was practicing. And I love the corrugated um, cardboard. I'm going to pick some up for my cover of the journal that's going to go in the Pearl Elegance. 
and uh, I'm going to use that. I love those words, strength, elegance, and wisdom. These are so beautiful, Jennifer. And this looks like so much fun. Look at this. Look at the little folders with the um, a postcard. So pretty. So it's coordinating. Isn't that so pretty? I just can't wait to play with this kit. Such beautiful pictures. So thank you so much, Jennifer, for your beautiful work. So here's the difference. See the difference? Let me see. All right. So this is regular paper, and it's a little bit darker, but I like both, actually. So this one comes up more cream and greens. And this is more of a sage green with a cream over here. They're just both very beautiful. See? Let's see. I don't know if they're in order or not. I should have put it in order. So the paper's just slightly darker. But they're so pretty. It doesn't matter. Either, either one. So I wanted to print that off and just show you the paper too. The paper's so pretty. The details is just it's so elegant and gorgeous. All right, so here is um, the Pearl Elegance bag. And it's a drawstring bag. Um, and I cinnamon dyed the lace yesterday. And um, this is a silk seam binding. It's cream as well. So it'll match with it. And this is pretty simple to make. So we're going to make this together. I figured this would be so much fun to do together. Some of you may already know how to do this, but some of you probably don't. But this was new to me, so I'd just like to share. You could hand sew, you could glue this, but I'm going to do this with my sewing machine. It's just a lot faster. But when you measure, um, always make sure your lace, you have plenty of room to play with. This one over here is a little bit smaller than this one, but it's okay. Um, as the lace, because I'm running out of lace and I need some more. So, I think this measured nine, yeah. Nine by, I think this was 12. No. Yeah, it was 12, and I folded it down an inch and a quarter to make the, where you put in where you're going to draw your string or I was even thinking about putting pearls up here to draw it in, but I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to do that. So let's measure out our fabric real quick. So this is so much fun. So this will be fun to make together. So let's, uh, let me move this over here real quick. So, what you want to do first is get a piece of, now this is, I think, a vintage table napkin. And this measures seventeen, a little a seventeen and a quarter. by 12 inches. So always make sure your lace is bigger than your bag so you have some room to play with. So what I do is I just do that right there. Oh. And then get out your sewing machine or your glue gun or your fabric tack and let's make this. So I figured, so that measures pretty good. 
So let's open it back up and center this and we will fold down. So we're going to measure at the top. A little over an inch and you just want to eyeball it and fold it down fold it down with the, your lace and see this will give it a little uh, like a pocket almost and then we're going to put our beautiful sari silk in there for a drawstring Okay, and I'm going to take a few of my pins here, and I'm going to do just, I think I'm going to do one right here. And don't go all the way to the edge because we're going to take our sewing machine and sew right here at the edge. And then I want one on this end. Oh, it was too small. I guess we'll do that one right there. Okay, so let's get out our sewing machines. And uh, let's go ahead and sew this right here. Before we fold it and sew the rest. All right, so I got out my sewing machine and I put it on E, which is this one right here. I don't know why it's so blurry. And I have it on four, which is a standard um, setting there. So, all right, so you want to take your bag and um, we have it open here, okay? Remember, we put our pins there. So you want to put, make sure your foot is off the pedal. <laughs> I've heard of some crazy stories. So you want to come to the edge uh, as far over as you can. Okay, and uh, drop down your foot there. And let's just begin to sew, and it's easier that way. All right, here we go. All right, I'm going to remove this pin. this pin All right, good job. All right, so we have sewed the top part of the Pearl Elegance bag. And it's shabby. That's why I like it. It's perfectly shabby, right? So, 
this will be perfect. So this would be the perfect time before we sew the side. Let's go ahead and, and just leave your lace extra on the side. I like that look. I think it's so pretty. Let's go ahead and make, let's go ahead and put in our sorry silk for a handle real quick. And then we will finish sewing. So what you want to do is just fold your sari silk like this. Now last night I was playing around and I sewed sari silk into the lace, but it was really hard to close the to close the bag up, gather the bag like that. So you just want to put your safety pin in here. All right. So find your end where you made your little opening. And you want to take your safety pin and put it through there. And you want to grab your safety pin and pull it in. So just, so gather it, pull. Hold on to your safety pin and gather it and pull. So gather and pull. So I'm holding on to the safety pin. So like that. So let's just quickly put, bring it through there. So I might take this out and put pearls in there since this is the pearl kit. If not, I will make a shabby flower and I figured we could do that together too in the video and um, add pearls to the back of the shabby flower. I figured we could do satin and lace and pearls. So that'll be fun. So pretty, right? So we're almost done. And this is a pretty thick napkin. If I didn't use such a thick fabric, it'd probably be easier. <laughs> so next time we'll do that. All right, so we made our gathering spot here. So we're going to fold it up and it will gather. See? So, let's um, open it back up, straighten it out, and let's go ahead and sew our side. So, I would leave that long until we get finished here. Okay. So, let's, let's go ahead and start sewing this. All right, so let's get back at our sewing machines. All right, so I just folded it up. I didn't use any pins this time. And I'm sewing the bottom first. So start here in the corner. Make sure everything is lined up. Drop your foot and let's go. I'm going to sew at the closest to the edge. So we got the bottom. Let's go ahead and sew the side and then I will show you the finished. So if you don't want to sew on a sewing machine, you could always do the same thing. Just use, uh, I should probably sew it the other way. So I'm gonna, well, I think it'll be easier to sew it upside down. So you want to start in the same corner we just started from. And, 
All right, so I put it at the same corner that we did the bottom part. And now this is the side and we're gonna go up, okay? So put your foot down and here we go. Make sure everything is lined up. And don't go all the way up. Do not go all the way up into this little pouch that we made. We're just going to come right to the bottom of it. And we are finished. All right, so here is the finished bag. It will be, I will I take a, a cooler iron to this. I should have done that before, but it's okay. It looks beautiful. So there it is. And I like the extra lace hanging off the bag. I will go through here and trim it up just a little bit, not too much. So here's the bag on the inside, and there's a little bit of lace on the inside as well. So let's go ahead and cut some of this. Sorry, silk. So I just cut a little bit off of there, so it's still long. So let's go ahead and gather it, and let's go ahead and tie a bow and see what it looks like. So I hope that you try this and um, I hope that yours comes out very pretty. I'm sure it will. Believe in it will. And there it is. So now I have two pretty shabby bags. Shabby pearl elegance bags. And um, we will be working on this project together. So stay tuned for that. And I just want to thank you very much for stopping by and watching my videos. And don't forget to go to Jennifer at A Trace of Sparkles Etsy and look at her new Pearl Elegance kit. It is absolutely gorgeous and you will have so much fun playing with it. So I hope that you all have a lovely day and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!